ArcGIS Excalibur enables users to conduct end-to-end -end image based workflows through modern and intuitive web experiences. A major need many users have is to make available and utilize any recent imagery without having to rely on a GIS admin to publish. ArcGIS Excalibur enables me to take file-based imagery and immediately publish to web-enable this data, such as a new image I received from a full motion video collection, where I can ultimately collect observations on any new activity observed within the area of interest. I can use the Publish a Hosted Imagery Layer Guided Workflow to provide basic information about my new imagery layer, such as a title, a summary, and tags. The next step in the guided workflow is to choose how the new imagery layer is configured. Based on my source imagery, I can choose a single image layer, an image mosaic layer, or an image collection layer. Based on the single snap that I received from the FMV collection, I will choose the single image layer option where one imagery layer will be created from this single source image. The next step is to select the data source that will be used in the publishing workflow. I can utilize the shared network folder that my organization has set up to quickly browse for and select the images that were just captured. I can see the summary of files I selected and can continue to the last step in my guided workflow where I can click to publish and create a new imagery layer. Knowing that this process can take some time, based on the amount of imagery I'm uploading and publishing and my network connection, Excalibur offers the ability to navigate within the application to continue day-to-day -day workflows. Through the Notices feature, I will be proactively notified when my imagery layer has finished the publishing process. As you see from the badge, my imagery layer has finished publishing, so I can go ahead and clear this notice and take a look at my new imagery layer. The imagery layer details view displays information about the layer from both the portal item details and the service endpoint, providing me with a full understanding about my new imagery layer. I can immediately open this new layer in my canvas to begin my analysis of this new imagery layer. Now that this layer is in the canvas view and published as an image service, I can utilize the power of the image server to manipulate the imagery to my liking, such as adjusting the DRA or gamma utilizing my image display tools. Knowing that my goal is to ultimately analyze this image to collect observations on activity of interest, I'm going to save my work as an imagery project where I can add capabilities to this project. As part of the project instructions, I'm going to collect observations on any new activity identified. Once the project has been created, I can edit the details of this project to include not only textual edits, but also the ability to add capabilities to my project. Excalibur provides me with the flexibility to alter this project based on my needs. These capabilities include the ability to change the web map of a project or to include an observation layer to the project. Knowing that my organization has a web map with contextual layers based around the area of interest, I can add that to my project. In addition, 
I can also add an existing authoritative observation layer to my project to allow me to collect on any activities that are identified in my image. Once all capabilities have been added, I can reopen my project in the canvas to begin exploiting my image. The first thing we notice is my image is now overlaid on top of my organization's web map that includes reference or context layers for any other activities that may have occurred around the area of interest. You will also notice that the existing observation layers are also overlaid within my view. I can use the time slider to view any previous observations that were collected within my area of interest. This will help in collecting any future observations to ensure I'm not collecting on the same type of activities that have already been observed. I can now use a set of observation tools to begin collecting on any activity I see within my view. A palette displays a list of icons per observation type, and in this instance, based on the activity type. After identifying activity within my image, I can click on the corresponding icon and click directly on the image to collect my observation. A form displays, allowing me as the user to manually add additional contextual information about the observation. In addition to the manual fields, there are a set of fields that get auto-populated for the user, which are key to observation-based workflows. These fields help connect the observation to a specific image to allow for traceability of observations within an organization. So these observations are tied to this specific imagery project and this specific image. They were collected at this date and time, at this specific location, by this specific user, and at this specific map scale. Now as an organization, I can nearly recreate the environment from when an analyst made an observation for traceability purposes. Once all my observations have been collected, I can add some markup to further call out these areas of activity to be used in my daily report. I can utilize the markup tools to add these annotations to my image. I can add a label and can connect that label directly to my callout. Now that this has been accomplished, I can save my work and I can use the Create Report tool to sketch the area of interest that I want to be included in my report. I can provide a title any comments, and a file name. In addition, I can choose from several options such as utilizing dark mode, including a title slide, and even uploading a copy of this report to my portal account. After clicking Create Report, I'll be notified that my report has now been created. This report will include the options that I had requested, such as the dark mode, a title slide, and including the specific sketched area of interest. Knowing that I also requested to have this uploaded to my portal, I can go ahead and drag and drop this report and upload it directly to my portal. I receive another notice letting me know and informing me that this report has been saved successfully and is now available in my content of the portal. The observations that we just collected can also be utilized by others in my organization in downstream analysis. For instance, 
Utilizing an operations dashboard, which now directly reflects the new observations I've just collected on the personnel and the vehicle activity that I've observed on my new image.